Hey everybody, Don here again. Well, I'm back in Karen's Yak. You guys are probably not going to believe that I actually bought this for Karen, but I did. But I'm using it again today. I can't get the Slayer into this pond. I'm bummed because the arm on this camera was attached to the other one, and when I grabbed it, I totally forgot that I removed the ball mount. So this is going to be a handheld camera today. Most of the filming is going to be done with the head cam, which is a good thing anyhow. You guys don't need to see my ugly face. A little bit windier up here. It's blowing me back in here, but uh, we're going to give it a go. Stick around. And you can see the pickerel weed is just starting to poke its head up over there on the shore. So a little something over there. A little windier than I thought. I uh, went to the local pond, checked it out, and that looked pretty calm. There's a good breeze today. Yeah, the wind's a little, a little stronger than I thought. push me right back into this uh, into this outlet get around this bend wind is a little a uh, little more than I expected it's not rough or anything but the winds just pushing me so I'm having a little difficulty there's very few pads emerging on this pond so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paddle all the way around and get up into that other end and uh, and give it a go up there and then I'll let the wind push me back down this way it's about 5 30 so I'll probably be out here for a couple hours at least and see what I can do I brought four rods with me today and uh, yeah see what happens Got him! Oh, did you see that pickle right there? <laughs> he slashed it and then he took it down. He didn't have it all the way. So he had it by the tail. It's all right, I didn't really want to catch him. <laughs> Good sized pickle though, man. Got him. Oh, got off. Man, that felt good. Another one curly cued me. I wonder if it was another pickerel. Get out of there. I got my rods all tangled up in this tree. Got him, whatever it is. <laughs> First bass of the night. Ah. Hey, hey, settle down. I don't want that hook in me any more than you want it in you. First bass of the night. Little 10 inch bass. Nothing to 
get too excited about, except it was the first fish. Uh, let's see. All right, no skunk. Oh, there's another one. I think that might have bit me right off. Yep, sure enough, pickerel. Bit me right off. Oh well. Retied. So I caught a one bass here and then had a pickerel bite me off right over there. I got a shallow spot right here and then a drop off. Hmm. Right on the edge of these pads. This whole thing in the summer will be full. I mean, it looks like you could walk across it. But right in there, there's a deep kind of a hole. And I've cut bass right on the edge of those last pads, casting in this way. Got him. Oh, feels like a good fish. Oh, what do we got? Staying deep. Oh, come on, what are you? Oh, yeah. Nice one. Whew. Now we're getting a little better. Man, I wish I had two cameras going. Not big, but better. Let me get that sun behind me. Yeah, they're getting a little bit bigger. Not a whole lot. Whoa, Mr. Bass. All right. I don't have a measuring board with me tonight. I do have a scale, but he wasn't big enough to weigh. He was maybe a pound and a half, maybe. The first one wasn't even half a pound, probably. Wind's died down, that's good. Time we got. 624. Plenty of time. Oh, what do we got? Oh. Oh, yeah, another one.
beaver lodge in there. I just noticed it. I saw that little gap. That makes sense. We got two on the uh, green pumpkin with a chartreuse tip, and one on the uh, on this one, the Fitzdinger. So I switched back over. Let's see if we can get another one on this bait. That one was the smallest fish of the night, but man, he took me into some weeds, and I thought he was a big one. Right here you can see the beaver's been digging that stuff all up over there and had a nice deep hole right there and that's where he was at. got the jackhammer chatterbait with a uh, fluke on a trailer as a trailer <laughs> Mr. Beaver, hello. Figured you'd come out eventually. <laughs> come on, give me a break. Boom. Yeah. I'm going this way. <sighs> Beavers. Well, I think I'm going to call it a night. Ended up with three bass. And I was thinking, my friend Tracy over at Old Lady Angler has a goal to catch 100 bass a month for 12 months. 1,200 bass in a year. And that's crazy. I mean, that's, uh, that's a lot of fish. She lives in a place to do it. I'm thinking about what am I going to catch this year. So I've got May. We're halfway through May. May, June, July, August, September, October. I can fish into October. So that's, yeah, six months. How many fish am I gonna catch in six months? Well, how about 
thirty a month. So in six months, 180. 180 bass in a season for me, it's a pretty dang good season. Um, I fished three times now this month, so today's the 18th, 19th, something like that. I've been out three times. I've got nine bass total. Can I catch 21 before the end of the month? I doubt it. But you never know. I mean, we might get out and hit the smallmouth beds, and I might catch 50 in a day. So the goal is going to be 180 bass this summer. And if I can get 200, that would be awesome. Beautiful night. Not a lot of action. The place is just starting to emerge with pads, but it was all right. Thanks for coming along. Beaver's following me. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Peace.